Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of, you know, whenever I make videos. Um, so the topic of this video will be like, well, it is um, a review on the ORS Olive Oil for Naturals hairline. Well, in my previous video, if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out just after this video. Um, if y'all haven't checked it out, I basically did a tutorial on how I moisturize and stretch my hair on wash day. That's how I achieve this style. Um, so I'll be doing a review on the products that I actually used in that video. I bought almost the whole line from um, ORS Olive Oil for Naturals. The only things I didn't pick up were their like gel styling products because I really don't use that much gel in my hair. I have type 4 hair, so I'm really not trying to define my curls all like that. So, I want to start off with their shampoo. The first thing I want to say about it is their shampoo smells so good, as all of their products do in this line. Um, it has a very clean, fresh scent. Like, it's a very strong, clean, fresh scent. So, like, if you don't like really strong smells, it might not be for you, but... I personally like my hair to hold a scent and it is a very pleasant scent. This shampoo did not strip my hair and I just use this shampoo straight. Usually for my shampoo, because I shampoo um, when my hair's down, I shampoo every week. When my hair is in braids, I shampoo every two weeks and I dilute all my shampoos. But I actually just used this shampoo straight without adding water to it just to see how it worked and it did not strip my hair at all. My hair actually felt really soft when I use this shampoo and as you see like in my video I actually could use it to start to definger detangle the next thing I want to talk about is the buttery smooth conditioner from their olive oil for naturals line and I will say that this product is really really thick and really really creamy so these this is one of those um conditioners that you want to use when your hair is like soaking wet just out the shower and I had kind of like towel dried a bit before I put the conditioner on you want to make sure you use this like when your hair is soaking wet because if you don't it tends to be really thick and really rich so you're going to feel like it doesn't have a lot of slip so next time I use this I will use it when my hair is like drenching wet as far as moisture it really did help soften my hair once I got it in on um, my hair I left it in for about 20 minutes and then I rinsed out and my hair felt really soft afterwards. Now once I got through washing and conditioning my hair, I went to styling my hair where I did like 16 plaits from like when I was in elementary school, how my mom used to style my hair. But I just used it to stretch my hair out so that my hair wouldn't just screw. After I finished washing it, um, to... I used the LOC method for my liquid. I liquid slash leave-in. Um, I used water because I didn't want to use anything else with this line. I wanted to see how these products worked on their own. The first product, well, the for what I used for the cream is the leave-in conditioning cream. And I will say this product is also really, really thick and really, really rich. Smells great, just like the shampoo and conditioner. And guys, if you watched my, my previous video, I was very generous with this. And I'm going to be honest, you do not need that much of this product. This product is really thick, rich, concentrated. So a little is going to go a long way, even though they give you like this huge jar. Um, you do not want to use that much product. So learn from me. Don't don't use as much as I used in my previous video. Um, it was really, really creamy and it just glided on my hair. And in the video, I was able to like detangle my hair really easily from the combination of the conditioner softening my hair and then just adding this. My, my Tangle Team teaser just went right through my hair. And uh, I can say I really like this. Like I, I really like this for my hair. Um, my hair is really, really thick, really coarse. So I really do appreciate really thick, creamy products that, you know, are going to penetrate into my hair, coat it, and keep it soft and moisturized for at least a couple days. Um, and then the last product I used this time around was the hydrating hair butter to seal my hair because this product is not water-based. This is one of, you know, it's a sealing product. So I used it to seal my hair after using the leave-in conditioning cream and, you know, 
same as other products they smell great and i will say this is not a light butter like if you have you know if you have finer hair this might be a bit heavy for you but for my hair it is perfect like i would take it and because it's so thick like I really appreciate the thickness and richness that they like they put effort into these products um, um this is not sponsored I bought these all with my own money um, <laughs> but they really did put effort into making sure you got quality products in this line um, because this butter was so rich I had to like first get it scrape it out and then rub it in between my hands and then kind of like do the prayer hand method to distribute it along my strands and this product worked great as a sealant. And guys, that is just all I have to say about these products. They worked really well as far as moisturizing and sealing my hair. And guys, um, if you are like me, type 4, thick, kinky hair, I would definitely recommend this line. But they do have something for everyone. If you are a wash and go girl, I didn't pick up the products. But they definitely have, you know, your gel definers and stylers for you guys that is it i hope y'all guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe guys i will see you in my next video